Hello, welcome to Rider Lab, your place for anything router and more. In today's video, I will be showing you guys the one thing you do not want to see on your Neduma router. Now, this is not to say if that's part of your settings and stuff like that, you're not going to be able to enjoy whatever game you are using your Neduma for. But once you get rid of that, your settings will be 10 times better overnight. You don't have to wait a week for it to kick in. Or anything like that it will happen instantly overnight that has been my experience and I guarantee you once you get rid of that that will be your experience as well now this is like I'm gonna say this off the bat if that's part of your setting what I'm about to show you guys it's like you are playing on Wi-Fi I want you to think of you using your Netduma router on Wi-Fi mode but we all know they always what one thing they've been telling us for years when you when it comes to gaming you want to get that direct injection you, you don't want to you want to use a cable you don't want to be on wi-fi so some of you guys are completely lost and associate you guys are like, what is he talking about so let me guys let me show you guys let me move my mic real quick and we are gonna click on device manager and you guys will see you see that if you guys saw my last video, if you guys didn't see my last video, which was a 2018 Netduma settings, probably the best settings out there currently for Netduma, definitely go check that out and come back here. You guys will see this screen look completely different in that video compared to now. Now, you want your screen to be like it was in that on my last video and not what you guys looking on the screen right now because this, all that colorful stuff, all that bright color, you don't want to see any of that on your Netduma router seeing this it crows playing on Wi-Fi it doesn't matter some of you guys probably yeah but I'm melting kids like I'm, I'm a god but I'm telling you once you get rid of that you are gonna transcend a god you are gonna become what comes after a god whatever that is I'm not gonna we're not gonna get into that and and give me a headache but you you see what I'm talking about so how do you get rid of that right now I can't tell you guys how to get rid of it for every isp but i'll show you guys in this video how to get rid of it if you have Ryzen fires and it, it is so simple you are gonna be disappointed in yourself like you are gonna be you gonna look yourself you look at yourself in a mirror and be like i, I am a piece of shit. i can't believe it. i'm joking so and you know what's crazy if you guys in my last video i told you guys that a lot of people have good internet that's 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 a fact a lot of people got good internet a lot of people deserve to have you know working settings should have technically should have a working settings but a lot of these settings the the things that are stopping them from working properly or working at 100 percent are minor things things that are right under our nose but they are so minor so you know we, we, we fail to notice them and this is one of them this is one of those things i spent a whole year playing infinite warfare with my router being that way and it was crazy and i'm supposed to be the guy that's giving out the juice i got the product i'm telling people hey this is the best settings use this and that and but you know it's a learning process as i'm giving out info i'm learning myself so you know you can never you can never know too much when it comes to this router gaming and all that good stuff so let be, without even stalling any longer I man you guys gonna see how simple it is for me to get rid of that right i'm gonna do this do that while talking to you guys and to kind of explain to you why it, it is so simple if you have horizon fights and somebody was telling me yeah you know i have horizon and i got rid of my by putting my 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 router in bridge mode and doing all kind of let me tell you you don't have to touch anything inside your router all you have to do is just unplug this here and plug it there and you are done so the reason that your you have dmz host you have this as part of your device manager is is because your settings are are how i'm about to tell you guys right now most likely you are seeing this because your netduma is plugged into your router whatever that router may be right so for me that's i got a quantum you know fires you know something like that whatever the name because i have Verizon fires so my netduma router is actually plugged into my Verizon fire so i'm getting the i'm getting leftovers so that's what that's how i want you to think about the source or the quality of you know of connection that your netduma is getting you are getting the leftovers from your from whatever router that you are using so i spent a whole year playing infinite warfare getting leftover connection for my verizon for my verizon router when i can get go directly to the source think of it as you cutting the middleman 
Think of it as your Verizon, whatever router that you are using, in, in my case, that's the Verizon router. That's like the middleman. I want to cut the middleman out and go directly to the plug, right? So this is how we go do it. I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to make your connection be 10 times better instantly, instantly while we are still talking you could do this while taking a dump that's how easy it is so i'm gonna do that while talking to you guys so this is what you do now the reason we are able to get 900 you know by 880 is because we have you know they we plug the the gigabit cable right they give us a gigabit cable that allows us to have that to process that type of speed so that cable that's plugged into your verizon router and you guys are gonna hear maybe a little bit background noise because i will be doing that live as i talk to you guys so that cable that is plugged into into your verizon router that gigabit cable that allows you to you know to get that 900 and all, all that crazy stuff you want to unplug that and it, it is plugged in that you know that little part that the white one right it, it is separate because you have like four you know e ethernet spots that's that are like yellow and one that is white right so you want to unplug that and you want to plug that directly onto your net Duma. so where you plug your ethernet cable where they tell you plug that into the back of your router and plug it into the first slot for your verizon router for your net Duma router right the first slot the one that is right next to the to the power cable you want to unplug that and plug your your gigabit cable right into that right and then you want to plug everything else so, so you want to plug because you still want to use your other router right so you want to use that as a wi-fi or whatever so you want to plug that into the slot that comes after that right so you want to plug that into the side now i don't think that part really matter where you plug it but we're just gonna we're just gonna keep things in order so so you're gonna plug that into the slide next to where you plug your gigabit cable and that cable you're gonna plug it into the the white slot where the gigabit cable was plugged into your verizon router so you, we're gonna plug that right in there and and then everything else you, that was plugged into your net duma you just plug them right back so i have my 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 computer plugged in i have my playstation i'm gonna just i'm just gonna plug all this these in and just give me one second guys i'm still live i just gotta i drop one of the cable and the back of the desk so i gotta reach out and get it so <laughs> that is a little bit crazy if you hear noise that's why all right so I've managed to grab it and I'm just gonna plug that also in the back of my Neduma and we're just gonna leave that there and everything is I switch all the I switch the cables back you know unplug this here and unplug that there now you might have remember now you see that everything is you looking at my screen nothing changed you still see device manager now personally and you see right here he says I don't have internet most likely you're gonna have to reboot your router right and if you rebooting your router still didn't kick it in then you you, you might have to unplug the power from the back of the Neduma and plug it back in but before we do anything drastic like that let's just refresh let's just reboot our router so let's try if that works so we're gonna go in settings miscellaneous and let me move my mic a little bit closer and reboot router and like I said, this should take about no more, not more than two minutes. We're gonna wait for the beep, and we're just gonna be patiently waiting and see if everything works. But it will work. I've done it plenty of time. I've done this video plenty of time. If if it doesn't go through when you reboot your router, just unplug the the power cable just behind the net Duma and put it and plug it right back in and just wait, and then everything should be fine. So we're just gonna wait to see what's happening. You know, if there's a little bit of hiccups, let's see. And I'm telling you, man, and you remember like my last video, as I would send you guys, man, you know, some of the best settings, you know, are minor things. And there you go. So that, that beep was a little bit delayed, but that's because, you know, we kind of, we just move things around. It, it is not a big deal. Everything is fine and all that good stuff. So, and I was telling you guys that there's a lot of good settings out there that, and the things that are stopping them from working, you know, at 100 or minor things in mine. And you know it's crazy and there you go you see my screen restarted i didn't touch anything out i'm still talking to you guys i didn't have to go to a different screen i didn't you know cut the video out everything is just still rolling right we are still live we didn't like i said and i didn't have to purchase any modem if you have Verizon fights you don't have to invest a mode in a modem the old box that comes that's probably in a basement or maybe they 
plugged it outside that also serve as a modem box right so if you have that and you don't have i think you need to not also have a cable right if all you have is internet then that's that will also work the same for you right you don't because you don't have you won't need anything else it's just basically plug and play so let me just go to device manager right now we're just gonna hit device manager and voila just like that instantly just like that my settings became 10 times better now you might have come across me when you know i had to do the dmz o dmc host and you were able to keep up but if you come across me when i'm like this i promise you you're gonna catch this fade anyway guys this has been router lab if you guys like this video you felt like you've learned something it was knowledgeable it was informative and all that good stuff definitely give us a like man and if you guys are new to the channel want to see more want to be part definitely subscribe for more and if any way shape and form you feel like the the stuff you seen in that video were stolen you know uh it's not really we didn't re i didn't really do my research i'm just copying somebody else's videos and making it seem like i'm doing research like i'm worth them please feel free to bring it to my attention but more importantly bring it to everybody else's attention so you guys can start a riot and all that good stuff anyway peace out